Hey, welcome back to my channel. Mm -hmm. Guys, we are officially in autumn season and I thought why not to give you cool, nice guidance of how to create great autumn capsule wardrobe. You know what to wear so you do have a wardrobe strategy and for you this will be fantastic guide and you won't be thinking way too much so let's go let's jump into wardrobe strategy and i will share with you seven steps of how to create great awesome capsule wardrobe mm -hmm. but you would need to spend some time for this wardrobe strategy but i promise you it will be working for you after and for a few months you will forget anything you need to buy you wouldn't have any headache about what to wear and how to create great outfit right so really first step you're taking out all seasonal clothes that don't belong to autumn what do i mean by that so this is summer season clothes that definitely you won't be wearing during the autumn during the winter something like all your swimwear beach wear all the skirts blouses linen clothes maybe linen shirts so clothes that clearly belong to summer or any other season that you definitely won't be wearing you are taking them out of your wardrobe you are emptying that space so you would see what you have in your wardrobe obviously if you do have a cupboard you can hide it there if you don't have a cupboard and you do have only space in your wardrobe make a separate section the section that won't be messing around the section that won't be disturbing you from creating great awesome outfits i know it might sound really easy step but believe me it's really important and please take it serious because it does sometimes create headaches some people have the wardrobe which is full of clothes and you simply can't not see some pieces potentially you could have wear so let's move to step number two you need to act like fashion police so you are looking at the clothes you will be wearing in autumn and be clear here quality is the quality still good enough to wear it and you don't need to hide anything any spots faded color maybe the quality itself is really poor simply the quality is no longer wearable another thing i would also recommend you to see if this piece of clothing belong to current fashion trends you would need to understand a little bit trends if you don't understand trends my recommendation here go with the simple wardrobe with the basics with those which are staple pieces with those which are simple in design and colors design would be straight cuts mid fit loose fits uh, colors like all earth neutrals so now we clearly understand which clothes don't belong to autumn which clothes are in a good quality and you are able to wear them and which are not so here you will be able to understand what kind of clothes what type of clothes you need to buy whether this would be bottoms whether this would be tops like t-shirts shirts anything what you like what colors maybe you want to add if you rather staying in a palette of neutrals so keep it in that way if you do love adding colors my recommendation would be add pastel or add add muted colors one or two pieces no more because then they will create a headache because in this video we are creating cups of wardrobe that works and matches among themselves easily obviously I will be showing my example so you kind of see what you can buy what kind of colors you can keep what kind of colors you can add or maybe it will give you some ideas what you need to buy so two steps are clear let's move to step number three here i want you to first select bottoms bottoms you gonna wear let me give you examples what kind of bottoms exist so skirts trousers jeans maybe joggers 
this can be leather pants, leather skirt, maybe this would be shorts, like Bermuda shorts, who knows. My personal wardrobe strategy is to have six bottoms for the autumn season. So this would be two jeans, two trousers in one leather pant in one skirt obviously i want these clothes to be easily matched with the tops i am choosing colors like neutrals i am choosing colors which are and will be in a trends in autumn and winter trends so this would be brown black gray guys you can watch my video about color trends i have it on my channel and obviously i also have a trends for the autumn you can watch it as well so you understand what kind of clothes are in a trends what kind of clothes you can buy for your future year so you won't have any headache what to wear once we choose our or six bottoms so it's really up to you you can choose eight bottoms you can choose four bottoms but I would not recommend to have less than four bottoms and I would not recommend to have more than 10 buttons because then it will take a little bit more time for you to plan your outfit to mix match them afterwards so you have six buttons what would be the next step so my recommendation for you would be first download the online wardrobe i do have an online wardrobe for probably six or even more years all my clothes what i am buying i am putting them into online wardrobe in my my wardrobe strategy is really smart. I know designs, I know textures, I know colors, I know fits, so I know what matches well together and I know obviously my figure. So I clearly, blindly can work with my online wardrobe and this will be perfectly working in real life. This is for free. There are some options with the paying. Might be quite good. I am not sure. So, so this is really in entirely up to you what kind of online wardrobe you are going for. But when you have your wardrobe online, it makes your life much easier, believe me. If under no circumstances you want to have online wardrobe, you can then make a photo or picture of outfits that you will create you will simply put them together you are making picture and you have on your phone a folder where you have already ready to go outfits build outfits you will just simply open your wardrobe all the clothes are visible and then you're just taking out those clothes and putting on yourself step number three with the bottoms is clear i hope and let's move to step number four so here here we will be choosing tops. My recommendation again to have three to five types of clothes I will be listing in a minute. I will show you my selection, my number of clothes of every single piece of wardrobe which I will be selecting. You would need to have three to five t-shirts or tank top so it's really up to you if you love t-shirts then obviously this would be t-shirts if you do love tank top this can be entirely tank top or you can mix and match have two t-shirts and have one tank top or you can have five t-shirts in all colors which you like but those colors which will be nicely matching with your bottoms guys you need to keep this in mind that's why my strong recommendation would be when you're selecting six or eight or ten bottoms or four you are choosing those colors which you like and which you will be wearing let's say brown like me or maybe blue jeans or maybe green or red pants it's really up to you but now when we are selecting tops the top colors have to match to bottom colors next category will be three to five whether long sleeve tops or turtleneck top because it's autumn it tend to get cold and we need to warm our body so we will definitely need to have something with a long sleeve my recommendation would be obviously to choose good fabric like cotton maybe silk mix maybe viscose but definitely not the polyester so plan your wardrobe strategy the way that it will make you feel comfortable again colors prints it's entirely up to you i do love stripes i do love white and black turtle 
turtle necks i do love kind of grayish cool tone this is more like a cardigan but i am using this as a long sleeve next one is three to five shirt or blouses again you can have five shirts or you can have five blouses you like or you can have three shirts or you can have three shirts and two blouse again entirely up to you as long as these shirts and blouses work nicely with the buttons shirt can be played can be checked can be lines can be maybe flower can be dots next one category here i would recommend you to have five jumpers or cardigans it is cold and we need to warm ourselves right again jumpers and cardigans working great at layering in in autumn we tend to do layering guys so here my recommendation would be to take five jumpers or cardigans again they have to be good quality so it can be mix of cashmere or wool or maybe alpaca if you're not allergic or this can be cottony colors if you do love playing with the colors if you do want to add colors so i am adding colors whether they are in pastels or whether they are in muted colors and they have to be really good design simple design guys if you're paying attention to my wardrobe my capsule wardrobe so these clothes are timeless this kind of designs we are wearing from year to year here obviously pay a little bit more to have it in good quality you also would need to see if these jumpers or cardigans they are matching to your buttons let's move to next category and here will be blazers or vest coats or jackets i'm taking three blazers and one waistcoat if you are paying attention again black would suit to any of my bottoms black would suit to any jumpers and shirt i would say burgundy and i would take beige so these three colors would fantastically work with my bottoms and will fantastically work with the other pieces of clothing right and finally guys you need to have two or three it's really up to you coats or trench coat so i would have my cropped trench coat in dark khaki obviously you can choose here whether the leather jacket or any trench coat or coat but these two or three depends how many you choose they have to suit to all of your clothes so if tops can suit to some of your buttons then these will suit to all of your tops and all of your buttons my recommendation choose whether the acromat colors black white and gray or choose the colors that nicely match with other beige khaki navy these kind of colors work perfectly with the other colors right so step number four is finished so we still need to choose our accessories but we're gonna do it a little bit later in this video so now let's move to step number five in here this is my favorite part because i do have online wardrobe so for me it's just playing like this is reminding me when i was a child playing with my dolls so step number five you are starting to build an outfit so you're starting to mix and match your bottoms with your top what is my strategy here so normally during the autumn i will always have layering whether this will be two piece layering or this will be three and more so what i'm gonna do in a step number five i am starting to put together two tops t-shirt and blazer t-shirt and shirt shirt and jumper blouse and trench coat and after i am choosing the bottom which would nicely match these two or these three tops if you don't want to have online wardrobe you obviously take a picture of every single button that matches these two tops or these three or these four tops so i'm gonna show you obviously my examples how i am styling my shirt and blazer with what kind of pants what kind of tops two or three matches the skirt once you have these matches you then start finding the accessories that would 
perfectly work with this outfit. For instance, easiest way would be to have really classic pointed toe boots in a black or in a brown, to have some kind of maybe trainers. If you like trainers, this can be the really popular now retro trainers or take maybe really classic new balances that would suit to most your outfit. Or this can be high boots if you feel cold and you will have quite a few dresses or a skirt just my recommendation would be here to have it with a pointed toe or with a little bit extended oval toe so then it will be nicely working in most of the outfits you will see my choice of boots and you will see the outfits that i am creating when you are matching your shoes try to think another two bottoms these shoes will match with if you have six bottoms like i do you would need to have two pair of shoes two pair of boots three bottoms matching one shoes another three matching another so for one pair of boots you need to have three bottoms as you can see i don't have any dresses guys obviously you can add dress for me i'm not bothered with the dresses because dresses are really easy to incorporate simply match them with the blazer or you can wear them independently you found the shoes you found the bag so my recommendation would be to have again two free bags so one bag would match whether all bottoms or half of them at least and choose them in really neutral color palette like black can be brown can be maybe like mine wine and burgundy can be maybe printed as long as it matches to half of your bottoms in terms of style in terms of color palette step number six here will be you need to create visually or on a picture or in the online wardrobe for every single bottom you need to find five tops or top layering combo let's say if you have a jeans they have to have five at least five versions how you can wear it jeans let's say and shirt jeans let's say top and blazer jeans let's say t-shirt and shirt you understand the way i'm thinking so you need to have for every single button you need to have at least five options how you can wear it and obviously again you're taking pictures your screenshot you might now think that this is gonna take way too much time but believe me guys when you are doing this step this will set in your brain and you won't need to actually look in your online wardrobe you will simply remember you will open your wardrobe in your hands will be taking those clothes you already put together in your online wardrobe or on your picture believe me your hands and your eyes will remember what you're doing now so you will be saving time for your future self and you will see it and you will thank me in the future i am sure and finally last step what i see from real life when the people created their outfits they got this feeling that they already wore them they might get bored with the outfit they already created and they want to spice up so here I would recommend you to do this way let's say you are looking online for some kind of new clothes or you see some kind of new bag or new shoes even if you didn't buy that piece of item yet you try to experiment to see what kind of outfit you can create take a screenshot of that piece of clothing or that piece of bag or shoes so here you will create an alternative alternative more bright more out of your style experimental outfit and you would potentially see whether this will work with those bottoms or with those tops so give yourself a little bit more room for fantasy as well because this will help you in the search of your personal style so this will help you to feel yourself better to feel what you really like 
what you can do more about your style. Obviously, the step number seven is not necessary, but it's only for those people who get really quickly bored with the existing outfit, with the existing clothes, for those people who tend to do too much, let's say, online purchasing. This will find that balance between what you like and what actually you can create. So here, this will help you to be more practical. You guys have a strategy. You know what my strategy is for any seasonal capsule wardrobe. This will be fantastic fantastic tool for you. This will save so much time for you and I am sure once you start you will see how exciting it is and how actually easy it is. If you found this video useful I would only ask you to support me with a like or comment and thank you very much for watching me. I really hope to see you back on my channel and thank you and bye!